Do you want to go into my mind? Are we going to give somebody a pillow? We are. Well, we're going to use a pillow to go into someone's mind. Oh, okay. Also, we're at Whale Cape now. Whale Cape! <laughs> the answer is Cape. Welcome to Cape. You know what? I immediately hate these little blue-haired chits, because I know it's one of them do the absolute worst thing RPG characters can do. What's that? Wander in front of a doorway. Oh, yeah, they can do that, but the doorway's three squares wide, so it's fine. Uh, okay. Yeah. And oh, no, I wasn't looking at the main doorway, I was looking at the back door. Oh, I mean, you could go there, but it's pointless, because there's no whale there anymore. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yep, so these people... And yet you immediately go back there. Yeah. I mean, I just wanted to show. Um, but, yeah, anyway, so these people are pretty much fucked at the moment because we took away their source of income. <laughs> Have like, fun losers. Yeah, we rescued him from, uh, we rescued the guy from prison, but uh, they're going to have to find something else to do now. Enjoy your new life, losers. We took your whale. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so we're clearly terrible people. So we left behind that one guy on the island and then we, uh, and then we um, fucked up these people's livelihood. Yeah. So we're good people. Yeah, we're not sending the whale back either. It's our whale now. Mm -hmm. Deal with it. Yep. And now we have to deal with Spar. Spar. Yay. Hooray. It's the Venus flytrap. Her, 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 her. <laughs> God, he's so much lower level than everyone else. Oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't bother to level him very much. I hear some people complain about, like, your entire party levels as one unit shit. I think that's the best thing they could do. It's the best thing in these RPGs, especially in RPGs that force you to use certain characters. Mm -hmm. Like, if it's some of the Final Fantasies, and the second I say this, I immediately realize that the, all of the Final Fantasies commit this sin, so <laughs> fuck that. Uh -huh. If it's, like, some of the Shin Megami Tensei games, where like, you get to make your own party and fuck it, you get a character, and if you decide not to use them, whatever. Right. Or it's like a lot of the Bioware games where you can shove a party member in the back and then never worry about them ever again. Right, right. That's one thing. But if they're going to do stuff like the later Bioware games or like what a lot of Final Fantasy is like doing and you have to use certain characters in certain situations, mm -hmm. no, have them all level. Because if you don't like a character, you shouldn't have to be like, oh, fuck, now I have to sit for hours yep. and grind this guy up to everyone else's level. Yep. Luckily, newer Final Fantasies do that. But, uh, yeah, some of the older ones did not. It's one of the few things I absolutely adore about 13. Uh-huh. Because you also get that amazing part. I love this in the newer RPGs. When you go and get characters you haven't used in a long time, and they're just exploding with new levels. Yeah. yeah. And you get to fucking race up the level up trees. It feels good, yeah. Oh, it feels so good. That was the only reason I was looking forward to changing tracks on Final Fantasy 13 when I was playing. Uh-huh. It's like, oh my god, I haven't been with these characters for like two hours. <laughs> They're gonna have four or five levels waiting for me. This is gonna be like Christmas morning. Yeah. Yeah, because it makes it look all pretty too when you do it. Yeah. When you get to hold that button, it looks great. And I was playing uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2 recently. Uh huh. And I would have moments where you would have to actually take somebody else in your party with you. Yeah that you hadn't been using, and these just like, they're exploding with levels. Mm -hmm. And that game, you can even game the level up, because whenever you activate a level up, you fully heal. So you can bank those level ups and level <laughs> up when you choose, yeah. and you just have a full heal in your pocket. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's the whole way I got through that final dungeon, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dark side final dungeon is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, it's a therapy pillow. Can you come into my mind? No. Okay. <laughs> Gandalf. Yep, Gandalf. I'm sure it's not based on Gandalf. What is up with old RPGs and going in sight of trees? I don't know. What, how many are there that do that? There's this. There's a ton of, like, every Zelda game you go inside a tree. Okay. Uh, I don't count Zelda as RPGs, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know, just... It's one of those things where it happens enough 
in a very specific time frame. Yeah, that's that you're true. wondering what the what the fuck's up with it. Yeah, I like, guess people just like the idea of going into trees. I guess. You know, there's a ton of those things in games and movies and stuff where when you actually lay out the number of examples, it doesn't sound like so much. Mm -hmm. But it's like over the course of just a few years. Yeah. And considering back in the day, how many movies and how many games came out in a year. Like even four or five examples is a sizable survey. Yeah. Unlike these days where it's like, Jesus Christ, there's five or six games coming out a day. <laughs> right. Which is kind of ridiculous. Like, I can barely even keep track of shit. Like, I didn't know what the fuck Fortnite was mm -hmm. until, like, a week ago. <laughs> Impressive. And that's, like, one of the biggest things on Twitch. And the only yeah. reason I figured it out is because a buddy of mine is a Twitch streamer. Mm -hmm. And he streams Fortnite. Yep. And I'm like, I'm going to sit on his stream. I'm like, oh, this game's neat. What is it? And everyone's like, are, are you high? <laughs> Who are you? How do you not know what Fortnite is? I'm like, yeah. oh my god, I'm becoming an adult. Yeah. Well, Fortnite and... And of course, I forgot the other name. There's another game that's nearly identical to it. They came out just around the same time. Uh, you're not going to be able to help me on this, are you? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Battle right? Uh, No, it's uh, PUBG. Mm. I, I think PUBG is very similar to Fortnite, if I'm not mistaken. They're both Battle Royales, just yeah. Fortnite has base constructing, and PUBG yeah. was the one that popularized it. That's right, yeah. And, like, I thought they were the same game for the longest time. <laughs> I've got to be careful with my T's and S's. Yep. Yeah, so you'll notice he's locked behind something, and that's why Gandalf speaks with Want to come into my mind? <laughs> Isn't this the greatest, uh, greatest, um, visitation of someone's mind? I... Artanelico got nothing on this game. I love games where you go into people's minds. I love yeah. the depictions that they have. Okay, well, you might like the Artanelico series because that's, like, largely the draw to them. Well, I mean, there's obviously the big one, uh, Psychonauts. Uh-huh, yeah. Well, that's the entire game, and that's a lot of the fun of it. Yep. Um... I love the newer games that do that because you get these impossible space stuff mm -hmm. where it's like the level will build itself around you. Yep. Or you'll look away and the level will reset behind you without looking. Yes. Like that's yeah, that the, kind of stuff is so cool. That's the best part of Arkham, uh, not Arkham City, Arkham Knight. Uh huh. Is that final sequence where you're inside Bruce's head mm -hmm. playing as the Joker in his mind <laughs> and all the weird fuckery that goes on in there. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of cool shit you could do with that. In this case, it's largely just uh, symbolic, because they didn't have the ability to change a whole lot. That said, spoilers for shortly after this, one of these towns is an illusion, and you need to go back to it to solve this dungeon. Mm. So they sort of had that idea in, in mind. There's a lot of stuff in older games that is kind of like, you need to use your imagination. Uh-huh. You need to fill in the blanks, because everything kind of looks like shit. Yeah, which is one of the reasons I like older games like this, because I do like using my imagination. That's uh, one reason I like Dungeons and & Dragons and shit like that. It's just one of those situations where, yeah, it's near the story of the demon. Are you the demons, John? <laughs> Hey, hey, you have a sign that says you're an item shop. Takes over your heart when you are vulnerable. The person's appearance doesn't change much, but the soul is lost to the demons, so we don't know what he looks like. Oh my god! But I'm sure he is responsible for making me senile. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so there's a demon we must seek out. Yeah. But yeah, D&D, you can do all sorts of stuff, just as long as you've got the stats for it. Well, I feel like D&D &D and the explosion of tabletop roleplay systems... Uh -huh are what have filled in the blanks for this. Yeah, I think so. Because as communication technologies advance, now you have stuff like Roll20, now uh -huh. you have stuff like Discord, yep. and you have a million ways that you can play with people all over the world. Mm -hmm. And you don't even have to play with friends, you can find strangers and make new friends mm -hmm. playing in these kind of systems. Which, back in the 90s, you couldn't do that. Right. And I think that's one of the reasons why we see so many systems now, where it used to be like, you had Dungeons and Dragons, mm -hmm. and you had a couple of others, like you had the Star Wars system. Right. And you had GURPS, because yep. GURPS has been around for fucking ever. Yep. But now, like, you can't shake a 
dead cat without hitting a new RPG system. This is true. Warhammer Fantasy has two. 40K has like five now at this point. We've got friends who are trying to develop their own. We have we have two separate groups of friends working on two separate systems that are all their own. Yep. Uh, I write for a small independent one mm -hmm. every now and again. Uh, we play a small independent one. Yep. And there's like 50 others. <laughs> and they can get so niche, like Octoon Cthulhu. Right. Where it's Nazi Lovecraft. Uh-huh. Because why not? Why not? Everybody well, likes Nazis and everybody likes <clears throat> Lovecraft. All you need to make one of these systems is a couple of writers and some play... Uh, I wouldn't even say you need playtesters. Mm -hmm. You should have playtesters. Yeah. But you just need a couple of people and just a book and bam, you got your system. Yeah. Met the Dragon Clan. They had an important mission. Hmm. And then they fucked off and didn't do their mission. Yep. Because dragons are kind of shitty that way. So, it's been like over a year, probably longer than that. Um, earlier in the game, they say you are the child for the mission. Mm. So, they're bringing that back a little bit. Okay, because I did remember that there are two Dragon Clans. Uh-huh. There's the good Dragon Clan and the shitty Dragon Clan. That is in Breath of Fire 1. Oh, okay. Um, that's still somewhat relevant in this game, but not nearly as relevant. Yeah, the Dark Dragons and the Light Dragons. And the Light Dragons were like, we shouldn't use our powers. And uh -huh. the Dark Dragons were like, powers are awesome. Yep. And the Light Dragons were like, well, you shouldn't use your powers. And the Dark Dragons were like, we're going to use our powers. Mm -hmm. Light Dragons were like, we're going to stop you. And Dark Dragons were like, you're going to use our powers? No, because it's wrong to use our powers. <laughs> so then the Light Dragons were losing the war. Uh-huh. A, a real shocker. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that is somewhat of a recurring theme elsewhere in the series, but not in this game. Okay. The theme of, you know, if you have power and you think it's wrong to use it, maybe you should still use it to keep others from using it. Yeah, yeah, unilateral disarmament might not be the best idea, especially in a crisis situation. So we have a children of old men, a children of... What, there are three towns? That's strange, there should only be two towns. Bum, That's bum, your hint. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, so yeah, there are children of what? No, no, I was just about to say, there's a town of children, there's a town of old men, and there's a town of... Uh... Oh. Okay. Um, so this guy... That seems sketch. It is. Um... Oh. He's a guy you could put in your town. Oh. This is your okay. only chance to get him. Interesting. He, if you meet the proper requirements, he can teach you the best spell in the game. Well, he could teach you a bunch of spells, but if you meet the proper requirements, he could teach you the best spell in the game over and over and over until he's done teaching, uh, until... I, I think he could teach you, like, four times or something like that. And what's supposed to happen is he teaches you a shitty spell, and then you feel better, or he feels better about you, so that he teaches you a better spell, etc., etc. But you can glitch this game out a little bit, or exploit it, I guess. It's not really a glitch. Um, and make his, uh mood towards you increase by saying yes and no in the proper um, in the proper uh, order. Yeah. Um, and if you do that, he can teach you missile every single time. Oh, well then. <laughs> so you can learn it for like four characters. Awesome. Yeah. Now granted, um, Blue and Nina already get missile as they level up, uh, so it might not be worth teaching to them unless you just want to give it to them quickly. Uh, but there are other characters who can use it. So what you're telling me is you can have missile on six members of your party. Yes. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty nice if you use that exploit. <laughs> so that's why I picked him up. Now, granted, I don't recall using it too much with the characters I did teach it to, but like, I just gave it to him because why the fuck not? So I think if you have NPCs you can talk to that are in a cage, you should lock them so that they can only wander around directly in front of the cage. Yep. Or make it so the cage is the interactable object and uh -huh. not the NPC themselves. Yes, I agree. This game is a mess. 
<laughs> and this is frustrating, and I'm sorry, everyone. I'm so, so sorry. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's the town of the men and not the town of the old men that are the demon. Uh, I guess we'll find out. He doesn't remember who he is. Because... Okay. Here's my rationale. Uh-huh. The town with the old men, the one in the cage, is like, yeah, I ha I can't use my letters properly. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, that explains what the fuck is wrong with the tree speech pattern. Okay. That's something the tree's doing. Yep. Uh, this place, the town and the inn and all that, function like actual shops and stuff. Uh-huh. With the town of the younger men, you go in there, and all they're doing is talking about this fucking demon. Uh-huh. It's like, me thinks the Lady Dolph protests too much. <laughs> the thing is, I don't believe you're right. Mm. I think it's the town of the old men, um, because that's where everything is locked up. Okay. Uh, to be fair to me, I also wasn't paying attention when you were in the town of old yeah, men. Yeah, we were talking about shit, because this that's what a let, Let's Play channel is about. But yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that you're incorrect on the younger men. And I think that's why I'm headed that direction at the moment. Yeah, as I was explaining my my rationale, I noticed you going towards the, the uh, town of old man. I was like, well, <laughs> 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 I can eat shit. I'm wrong. Yep. 